Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Wind Dynamic Desktop app, which is free to download from the Microsoft Store, and this will allow you to use some of the uh, Mac OS uh, active uh, desktop background wallpapers. So once you install it, here's a little screenshot of what it does here, it's going to ask you for your location, so you could either have it uh, going off of what your computer thinks you're at, or you could actually type in, you know, city... Uh, state that type of thing and you could check the uh, specific sunrise and sunset times if you want to fine tune it like that and then once you have it you'll have it running up here and it'll also be running down here at the system tray so you'll have your various backgrounds you could use and if you have multiple displays you could change them to there as well so the default is none so here's some of the uh, previous ones here And here's the newest Ventura one from Mac OS 13. So if you click on that, you can kind of get an idea of the uh, night and daytime version. And if you like it, you just click on, well, if you don't have it first, you got to click on download. So let's do one that hasn't been downloaded yet. Let's say this one here. Click on download. Okay, and then you just click on apply. It tells you it's been applied there, and you can see the different light and dark. Just like that, and if you, it'll switch automatically based on your, you know, your time zone and stuff. So if you want to make it go dark, you could open your icon from the system tray, right-click on it, enable night mode, and then that'll change it to the night mode. And if you want it back, just uncheck it. And there's also options here to change the the lock screen image when you lock your computer. Uh, config, change your schedule, start on boot, language refresh, hide system tray. All kinds of other stuff, check for updates, and then of course exit. So once you got it here, if you want another one, let's say this Catalina, same thing, download, and then apply. And you can see this one has multiple versions of it, so depending on the lighting right there, so that's kind of cool. And then if you want some other themes, you could click on Get More Themes Online. And then you got these featured themes, uh, free, paid, and Mac OS. So if you want to pay for ones right here, Mac OS ones right here, which a lot of them are already in there. looks like all of them. So if we go to the free, you'll just pick the one you want to download. So I already have one downloaded called Firewatch. Just be careful when you're downloading because I noticed there's some pop-ups and you know, advertisements and stuff trying to trick you to click on things you shouldn't be, so just be careful when downloading from the site. So then once you have it uh, downloaded, you'll have this DDW file, so just double-click it. And then I already have it installed, so I'll say no to that. So there's the Firewatch one that I downloaded, and you can see the different time settings there. And then if you want to use it, just click on Apply. And there you go. So once again, just go to the uh, Microsoft Store, look for Win Dynamic Desktop, all one word. Just do download and install real quick. And then, like I said, this will pop up, and you'll either put in your uh, location or have Windows use its location to uh, determine what time you're going to have your sunrise and sunset, or you could set specific times. And then just go through and... You know, pick which one of these uh, wallpapers you want to use. And if you want to you would download some more, just click on Get More Themes. And just remember, when you pick one from the list here, you have to uh, download it before you could apply it, just like that. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.